Hello everyone and welcome to a new video tutorial of a new ROS questions and answers video and in the video of this week we are going to be answering this question here getting nodes name via ROSPy so yeah there's a way to get nodes name in ROSPy like ROS node list okay in a we are going to see how to do this it's not using ROSPy but using a ROS node but it's very very easy, very very simple, so we are going to do a very quick example in order to show this and we are going to use RDS so let's come to the RDS website and here I'm going to create a new project for instance uh, I'm going to call it node test here node test as well okay create let's create this new project here we have it and now let's just start it clicking here in the run button and let's wait a few seconds until the whole environment loads and here we are so basically I have my ROS development studio loaded here and now I'm going to select the simulation in this case let's launch an empty one because we don't need any robot so let's launch our empty simulation and here we have it excellent so we have our empty simulation loaded here So now let's open a, a web shell. So we are going to create a new package here in our workspace. Let's also open our workspace here in the code editor. Here we have our workspace. There it is. So let's create a new package into our workspace. There we are, Katkin create package. And notes test. And I'm going to add Rospy as a dependency. There we are. Excellent. Uh, so now here I have my package, the package I have just created. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Excellent. So let's create a new file here, which I'm going to call notes test code.py and let's just create a very very simple code here which is going to be done in Python then let's import rospy and import rosnode then let's create a new node which I'm going to call uh, nodes test and then here let's just print let's add a print of node oops sorry nodes names then for getting the names of the nodes we are going to use this ROS node model here and it's very simple it's just ROS node dot get node names it's very very simple it's very simple if you want to see what functions you have available here you can go to the rosnode API and here it is and here you will find information about the API of rosnode and you can see here for instance the uh, this uh, get node names function which works as a rosnode list yeah so yeah basically it's get uh, node names let's put this into a variable which is called node names for instance and then print node names there we are so yeah we are importing gross node we are getting the names of the node using this function here and then we are going to print it into the screen okay so let's save our code and then now let's just execute our code which is the package was called sorry uh, notes test okay 
so Rust run node test and the code is node test code. Yeah, here we have it node test code. So let's execute this. And as you can see here, I have my node names. Yeah, and I have nodes test, rosout, web video server, and gazebo. Yeah, so this one is the one I am starting here. Yeah, so if I do a rust topic list, sorry, rust node list, I am getting these three the gazebo, rosout, and web video server. I'm getting these three and not this one because when this program ends, obviously this node. Uh, dice, yeah. So, for instance, if I put here a ROS pi spin, I will be able to also visualize this uh, this node, the nodes test. So let's execute again this. There we have it. Now the program doesn't end, as you can see. So now, if I do in another shell. this one for instance yeah so I have this one here and this one here let's minimize this there we are so now if I do here a ROS node list I will see the four nodes yeah gazebo nodes test ROS out and web video server okay so yeah this is the easiest way to to get uh, all the nodes in the simulation in in, in 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 code using code using a Python code in this case and a very very simple so So yeah, that's all. I hope this video has helped helped you. And as always, if you have liked it. Please uh, leave a like, subscribe to our channel, because we post and we upload content like this almost every day. So yeah, see you in the next video. Goodbye.